One definition in the Urban Dictionary for a hack is a clever solution to a tricky problem. Now I don't know if you could call today's video hacks, but let's face it, hack videos get searched a lot more than tip videos. I'll let you be the judge. Now upcycling pallets can be kind of a pain, but when you've done all the work and pull all the nails out and you've got that one stubborn nail left, doesn't want to come out, just add a little heat to it, a propane torch or some sort of high heat, and let it cool down for a few seconds and it'll come right out. Works on staples and the ever stubborn nails in oak as well. If you've got a nail hole or a screw hole in a place you really don't want it, just wet a rag, lay it over the hole, and use a hot iron to steam that hole. Now that'll close the hole a little bit, and if it's a big hole, it won't be perfect. Just come back over it with some sandpaper and a little bit of glue, fill it in, sand it again, and do this several times until the hole is nearly invisible. After 20 years of recycling pallets and barnwood and all kinds of crazy things, the easiest way I found to pull in the nails is to stick a crowbar in a bench vise. And you can put a trash can below which catches most of the nails. Now use the piece of wood as the pry bar and it makes pulling the nails out really easy. Well, as easy as it possibly can be. It almost makes pulling nails fun. I did say almost. Now that we've made a big mess, it's time to clean it up and I'm going to use my shop vac, but I don't want the nails and screws left over going up into my shop vac. So I take five neodymium magnets around a plastic ring and then tape them on for extra security. Slide that fitting over the end of my hose and I can vacuum everything up without worrying about nails and screws going up into my shop vac. And I'll recycle the nails later and the screws, I want to use those because they're expensive. And I drop a lot of screws. The last tip of the day is a magnetic tip as well. Now I use glue bots for everything, including my cutting oil. And I leave my cutting oil sitting on top of my drill press. So I just drop some neodymium magnets in it. It doesn't affect the oil. And I never have to worry about my cutting oil falling off of my drill press. And this works for other machines as well. Thank you very much for watching. And I'd like to thank FastCap for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to learn more about the products from them I used in today's video, check the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe.